Hi friends, Newcastle is the new legend in Apex Legends Season 13, and today I've got a guide on how to play him. I place Newcastle somewhere in between Gibraltar, Lifeline and Rampart. He combines elements of all those legends and even Watson to bring quite a useful and balanced feel to the team. Before I get into it though, could I kindly ask you to like and subscribe? I would really appreciate the support and you'll get to be part of an awesome and growing community. So let's start by looking at Newcastle's abilities, and I'll give you some tips on how to use each ability effectively. Newcastle's passive ability is Retrieve the Wounded. You can drag down allies as you revive and protect them with your revive shield. It's a little like old school lifelines revive, but the shield for Newcastle is much smaller. The revive shield can also be destroyed as it uses your knockdown shield. Ergo, the better the knockdown shield you have as Newcastle, then the more damage the revive shield can take. And this is exactly why in your team you should always give Newcastle the best knockdown shield, and the same goes for the gold bag. Now your knockdown shield does slowly regenerate health when you're not reviving, so if it does take some damage, then over time it should regenerate. However, you should know there is a bit of a bug at the moment in Battle Royale, where sometimes after you revive, your knockdown shield drops to 0% and it doesn't regenerate. I do think they will patch it at some point though so try not to worry about this too much. Now the best tip I can give for using Newcastle's passive is to strafe while reviving. You see you can move left, right, forward and back while reviving. Given that your revive shield can be destroyed while you're reviving, if you have multiple people shooting at you, you'll find that revive shield disappears quite quickly, and therefore by strafing, this will help you to avoid more shots while you're reviving. Another option is to drag your teammates behind cover. As you can see in this clip, I'm able to drag my teammates behind a rock and my tactical to complete the revive. Moving on to Newcastle's tactical, Mobile Shield. Newcastle throws a drone that projects a movable energy shield. And this is a movable shield that will block all incoming bullets, abilities and nades. Once it's deployed you can move it simply by pressing your tactical button wherever you want it to go. It can move forward, back, left and right. You can also change the orientation, and it does this based on the way you're looking when you move it. However, it won't change the orientation if you're not close enough, you've got to be about within one meter to the shield wall itself. Also note, if there isn't space or there are obstructions on the sides, you might find it also won't change orientation, and I've noticed this a few times. The shield wall itself has a 15 second cooldown time, and the shield actually stays deployed for 20 seconds before disappearing, unless it gets destroyed. So in essence, you need to wait 35 seconds before you can deploy another shield. The shield consists of an upper half and a lower half, and each part has 350 HP. The good thing about this is that each part can also be destroyed separately, so even if the enemy team destroys the top part, you could still use the bottom part to crouch behind. Oh yeah, it's also worth knowing you can't destroy your own shield by shooting it, and nor can your teammates. Plus you can't actually shoot through it either, so it's not exactly the same as a rampart amped wall. Here are a few tips to use this tactical more effectively. It's a great way to protect your teammates if they're pushing ahead of you and taking fire, because you can throw it at quite a far distance. And this is useful when you're defending a position, but even offensively it can be useful. Check out this clip. You can see my teammate pushing the enemy team ahead of me, so I throw the tactical to give him some cover, and I then move it forward with him so he can advance. And this same principle works in defensive situations. By the way, if you've got obstacles in front of you, a tip is you can jump and then throw the tactical to get it over the obstacle. And again, this can be quite useful if you want to push around an object and you want some cover if you think it's open on the other side. This tactical is also great for self cover. I typically throw it down at my feet if I need cover to heal and I'm out in the open. And another really great tip for this is that you can use it when you're blocking a door to heal when someone is pushing you. Simply throw down the tactical at the door, and not only will it make it harder for the enemy team to break the door, but if they do break through, then you've got an extra little bit of cover where they can't just shoot you straight away. It's also quite a good tool if you want to res a teammate. You see in this clip, I deploy the shield for some cover while I respawn my teammate with enemies around. And a final little tip for this tactical is that it does actually deal damage if you hit someone with the drone. Simply throw it straight at them and it should deal up to 20 damage, although I find in most cases it deals 17 damage. So it's not a bad way to deal a little bit of damage. Moving on to Newcastle's ultimate, Castle Wall. Leap to an ally or targeted area and slam down, creating a fortified stronghold. 
Newcastle essentially builds a large wall in the direction he is facing. You can leap to a maximum range of 35 meters, although you can choose to target a squad mate to land on, and in this case, it will extend the range to 75 meters, which is actually pretty good travel distance. The wall itself is made up of 9 segments, and each of these segments has 750 health. You can take down the walls yourself as Newcastle, for me and the controller is down on the d-pad to do this. It's also worth noting, each part of the wall can be destroyed with two melee attacks, similar to Rampart's walls as well. Now remember at the start of this video, I mentioned Newcastle even covers a bit of Watson? Well, that's because the outward facing side of his ultimate is electrified for 30 seconds, stunning and dealing 20 damage to enemies who attempt to climb it or even just come into contact with it, much like a Watson fence. Don't worry, it won't deal any damage or effect to you or your teammates, so that makes this even more effective. You should know that it only works for 30 seconds though, and after 30 seconds, you'll notice the electric effect stops, and you'll even hear an audio cue for this. Don't worry, it's not a glitch, this is actually how it's supposed to work, as I know a few people were confused as to why the electric effect was stopping after 30 seconds. By the way, this cooldown time has a 2 minute cooldown time, which is on the lower end compared to most legends, and if you want some comparison, I think Mirage's is the lowest at 1 minute, and Lifelines is the longest at 5 minutes. So a few tips to use this ultimate effectively. You can actually turn around mid-jump to change the orientation of the wall into a different direction. It does take a little bit of skill to do this well, particularly on controller, but let's say if you're jumping over an enemy and you want to spin around so the wall then deploys facing that enemy, you can definitely do that, and it's quite a neat trick. Also, this ultimate isn't just a great tool for building up defences, you can even use it as a movement tool due to the boost you get when you first deploy the wall. And this could be great whether you're trying to get into the zone, get into high ground, or even chasing down enemies. Check out this clip. The Valkyrie obviously has better movement than my team, and is able to boost over the wall. You can see I've got a Bloodhound and a Seer, so we don't really have any team abilities to get around. But because I'm Newcastle, I can boost over the wall, and I chase down the Valkyrie, and I even get the win by doing this. Because it gives her no time to heal. So this is a great example of how you can actually use Newcastle's ultimate in an offensive situation. Of course, this works defensively as well. You can check out this clip, and you see I'm on a building far away from my teammate, but I'm being pushed by an enemy team, and I can literally hear a full team pushing me. So I use the ultimate to boost away from that full team, and regroup with my teammate. So again, this is another reason why you can use the ultimate in a defensive situation, not just for the wall, but also for the boost. Obviously, this ultimate does have other defensive capability as well. You can use it in open spaces where there's no other cover, plus you can also use it indoors if there's enough space. And I would say for this, the best idea is to think of it like a rampart wall or a Watson fence, where you can use it to zone off indoor areas, like a doorway or even a stairwell, like you can see in this clip. A cool tip with the lock-on is that you can also target down teammates, so you can boost towards them, deploy the wall on the down teammate, and then revive them. And the final thing I'll say about Newcastle's abilities is that they do work well together. With Newcastle's ultimate and tactical, you can use it to get front cover, and then the tactical to get side or back cover. Plus, the ultimate and tactical can both be useful with your passive revive shield to help revive teammates as well. So definitely don't be afraid to use Newcastle's abilities together. Also, don't forget Newcastle has the fortified ability as well, much like Caustic and Gibraltar. This gives him 15% damage reduction, although not for headshots anymore, as they changed that this season. Plus, he doesn't get slowed down by bullets with this perk. That's pretty much the lowdown on how to play Newcastle. I actually think Newcastle's a really great team legend. In terms of game style, I would say Newcastle does suit a more defensive playstyle, generally someone that's the back marker for the team, covering from behind, but for sure, there is the potential to use him effectively in offensive situations, as you've seen a few times in this video. So I hope this helps, don't forget to like and subscribe, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later.